All right, here is the uh, upgraded X-Carve. Uh, I added the new one-piece X-Rail and my two uh, gantry lift plates I designed and uh, made out of aluminum. Uh, I can now get full access to uh, the five and a quarter or five and three quarters uh, lift Z linear rail. So you can see here's a two by four standing on end with plenty of room underneath there. So I, I probably do have, I should have about four inches of cl actual clearance. Uh, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, with super long bits, uh, you'll be able to utilize that. So I got one here. Uh, this bit is a three inch long uh, tapered end mill, really good for 3D carving. So I'll be able to do the really deep 3D carves now, uh, which would be great. Um, this height also allows me to, for those giant uh, 3D carves, remove my lower uh, dust shoe if I, if I need to. I shouldn't have to, but I can compress it and get it up underneath there and put it to wherever it needs to be. Um, this one piece rail, man, it is stiff, okay? Way better than the 60 minute mod definitely um here's my new uh end plates the gantry end plates uh they fit on there really nice um they use the existing holes and slot and uh, lock into place i mean not tightly but uh it gives you some surfaces to when you push them into the radius there into the corner that way you know both of them are set up the same so you don't have to worry about leveling uh, those. But like I said, now I got this full range of motion. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so I can go like this. I can set. I can set my Z to four and hit down and not worry about hitting anything. Look at that. So, also, um, the further down on the rails, I don't know if you can see that, I actually still have some room uh, to go on the rails there. The further down on the rails you go, the stiffer this whole Z linear rail setup goes. Uh, on the back side, I am, you know, it's a quarter inch aluminum plate, which is stiff, but not the stiffest. If it was three eighths, this thing would be awesome. I love three eighths. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, there's a big portion of it that's unsupported. So the top, the top can give a little bit uh, compared to the bottom. But once the rack here gets down to the bottom, it is so stiff that it is very, very, very tight. Uh, I mean, it, it's it, there's almost no give at all. I mean, you'd have to measure it with a micrometer or a dial indicator. But uh, very stiff compared to what it was now. So, I am very happy. I have some shims on the bottom of my linear rail uh, right there that I have to uh, remove. Um, and I had to put those with the old x-axis because the old x-axis was rotated slightly. Um, my only hang-up, and I don't know, uh, it was obviously, it's it was like this from the... Uh, factory I don't know what's going on if the threads were just uh, not not done correctly or if they threaded it with the wrong size thread with one of them I doubt that because it would be all in the same tool that they'd use for everything else um, but this one right here um, that one it feels like it's about to strip um, so, I'm going to, I mean, the other three are holding very tight with uh, lock washers. Uh, I'll be taking uh, them out one at a time and adding uh, Loctite. So that should help. Um, I got to bundle up. I had to use a longer Y2 uh, wire to go because of the lift. Um, I just got to bundle up some, some of the wiring.
but there it is with uh, being able to utilize uh, all of it and I've seen other people put their linear rails where part of it's hanging down and then what's the point I mean now you're blocking that's your the lowest part of that carriage is the your max travel or your max uh, clearance I should say not travel so you want it as high up on the extrusion as you can which I got it pretty close I think I I got it uh, where is it right there I got it you know within a quarter of an inch to a half an inch someplace in there um, but that was just where the bolt holes lined, lined up on the carriage that's the best I could do to get it up in the air but that way I can go up and move this thing completely out of the way for bit changes um, it's pretty nice I gotta say the X-Carve uh, lifted I think it's like 2.35 inches higher than stock with a 5 and 3 quarter inch linear rail uh, z-axis man this thing is a beast I cannot wait uh, to carve with it because it, it it is way stiffer uh, than it ever has been uh, everything lines up much better I didn't have to shim the ends with the dual rail x-axis before because they were cut uh, not perfectly the same length I mean even a hair off will give you an angle I'm, I'm serious about that that's uh that's how fidgety putting two pieces of extrusion that long uh, a little uh, just a hair off is going to give you an angle uh, angled uh, attachment so this one piece man that you just it is what it is you throw it on bolt it up it's flat on the end as long as they cut it flat on the end uh, it and it was it's great so now the cleanup part I hate the most <laughs> alright see you guys